I'm just wondering how men who want 50-50 relationship and baby as well, how do you think that woman can trust you that you will take care of her during the pregnancy if you don't even want to pay for her dinner? This wasn't 50-50. The dishes wasn't 50-50. The laundry wasn't 50-50. The cleaning wasn't 50-50. Okay, and yeah. that's an everyday motherfucking job. I come okay, home okay, and they got yeah. food on the table, got clothes on the bed, got shit everywhere. Like, well, literally. And I'm a clean person. If you've been to my house, I'm organized and clean. So every day I'm exhausted. Never I'm coming easy. home. I'm cleaning my house. And yes, I do that anyways. But when it's just you, it's just you. When you are cleaning up for a man and his children and other people it is a whole full-time job and you don't get time for yourself and that's why women get burnt out period and you're no longer having your relationship because you're coming home and a man is sitting on the couch because he's tired from work and you're making sure you're catering to him and let me tell you guys all something i have done that and i'm never i'm not saying that i will never do it but i'm letting you know that it feels very draining and i'm not saying i so won't do it but when i'm going 50 50 on you i take pride in doing it so what i don't give a fuck i think it's so it, I, what okay so what cool so what so what so what i don't understand where is the value in that the value where is the value in that well, pause. why am I going home and going 50 50 with you pause. and doing all 50 pause. and I'm doing well, why all does, of the Why does one have anything First to do all, with it? First of all, I think she has a valid point. Do, other. Are you do something with it. It's just money coming to me easily. Money coming in and needing me. Money coming in repeatedly. Money coming, it's just money coming, it's just money coming to me. Women do not like 50 50 because for most of us, it's a scam, okay? <laughs> it is a total scam. And to be honest, a lot of times women get taken advantage of they get the short end of the stick. The reason why a lot of men claim that they have a hard time finding somebody worthwhile in their opinion is that uh, they're looking for a slave, Loki. They are looking for a maid servant. And the reason for that is that a lot of men honestly um, have witnessed their moms and aunties and grandmas be worked to death by a man. And what I mean by that is, they had to go to work, come home, and then take care of the house and the kids. And while the man just went to work and came home and sat down in front of the TV and waited for his woman to bring him a plate, <laughs> um, or he was out with friends or out doing his hobbies or whatever other things that he had. Meanwhile, the women didn't get the luxury of having extracurricular activities or interests or hobbies because she didn't have time. So now a lot mistakenly believe that this is the natural order of things and that's the way it should be. Like women should live to be in service to a man or they should live to get that MRS degree, that title of being married. Um, but nowadays it's just not, it's not worth it. You know, the way things are, it's not worth it. If I'm, I, I understand that thinking. I, I'm happily married now, but I've been married before and I've been in relationships before, nobody really wants to be in a one-sided situation. Like, if you feel like you're doing more and you're not benefiting enough, it's not fulfilling. I was once with a guy that he paid the rent, but I literally did everything else. Like, I provided the only car that we had, so I was his way to get to work. Um, I cooked three meals a day from scratch. I kept the house clean. We didn't have a washer and dryer unit because he didn't want to buy one. I had to pack up all that clothes every week, go to the laundromat. I did all that stuff. He literally did not have to pick up a finger around home, even taking out the trash. I rolled this, the thing down, put it on the curve, bring it back. I did everything. He literally did not have to lift a finger. But eventually something happened to my car and because I wasn't working, I did not have the money to fix it. I think it was like $1,600 or something. So I asked him like, hey, you know, since you utilize the car too to get to work, do you mind like paying in to get this thing fixed? And you, <laughs> you would have thought I asked this man for a kidney. He went off. Don't try to take advantage of me. You, you need to get a job. You need to have your own money. And da, da, da. So I said, well, all right. Okay, so I got a job. But when I got a job, he was pissed then too because now I was not available to cook him three meals a day. I was not available to clean to the same level I kept it clean. Sometimes the laundry would have to wait and he was pissed because he felt entitled to all of that. And that's what he wanted. And I did not have the time to handle it all. No, you wanted me to go to work, okay. So though I'm married now and I'm happily married and I'm not going through that, I support y'all with 4B and whatever y'all do. 
um, because I've been there before, okay, in the past. I completely understand what it is. A lot of them are a lost cause, sadly. You know, they just have a messed up way of thinking, okay? They think women are, are, are servants, and that's, they're just put on earth by God to make their lives better. <laughs> they, they don't see you as people, unfortunately. So that's why they're so mad and angry and they feel so entitled to your labor, emotional labor, physical labor. Um, they feel entitled to your body. Okay? Just by virtue of being born male. Y'all, the reason why you should never do 50-50 and you should never pay for anything, this is for y'all ladies. If a man looks at you and goes, she should pay half. She should pay bills. Let me see if I can get her to pay bills. Then sis, you ain't the one. You're not the one. Because if a guy gave a crap about you and he wanted you to be his wife, he wanted to impress you. Oh, it's a big yard sale over there. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's the biggest yard sale I've ever seen. Okay, we're not gonna stop. But back to what I was saying y'all. If he is not motivated to impress you, you're not the one. <laughs> like, you're not the one. What he's going to do, what he's looking for, y'all, is a glorified roommate. You are his glorified roommate. You were doing wife stuff at girlfriend prices, and the only one benefiting from 50-50 or splitting bills is the man. Because what happens is he's going to waste your time, he's going to waste your youth, and he's going to move on to a girl who doesn't pay for anything, y'all. I have seen this happen so many times since I was a kid like I personally know somebody I have a family member a distant family member who dated this woman they were together 22 years and he dumped her he didn't work didn't do nothing and when he dumped her within less than six months he was married to a 26 year old with three kids and he got a job and all of a sudden he knew how to get a job get an apartment and be an adult like y'all men are not stupid that's one thing that y'all have so wrong men are not stupid you have men oh i just can't figure women out women are for me no when men say that you need to get away from them because you know that man is a liar they have figured they know every man walking the face of this earth over the age of about 13 knows what is required of him knows what is expected of him they know that they're supposed to go to work pay bills be good father figures be productive members in society they know what they're supposed to do if they don't do it, it's because they have people in their life enabling their mediocrity. Y'all, this is what I see all the time. This is why we have like, this is why the dating pool sucks. Because for so long, women have enabled men to be able to do nothing. All they need is a penis and a pulse. If a man today in America has a penis and a pulse, he can get a woman, he can get a free place to stay, he can have children, he can, he can have everything for nothing. And that's why the dating pool sucks. And that's why you don't need to go 50-50 because the rare good men who are out here, when they meet somebody and she's the one, they automatically go into man mode and they provide and they protect and they want to build a legacy. You don't deserve anything less. Here is one reason why 50-50 concept does not work. It is a made up imaginary concept. I mean, it's nearly impossible to calculate every single thing that you are doing half and half with one another in the partnership. The entire concept of it is made up. And chances are is that you and your partner are not making the same amount of money. And so 50% of his income might mean a whole world of a difference than 50% of your income. Women are innately going to take on more of the homemaking role. It is just so, it, it is in our nature for us to desire a home to be clean, to have our families come home and lounge around in a clean space, to have clean bed sheets, um, to have laundry folded, to have a home cooked meal. It is in our maternal instinct to care for the children that we bear and to make the house into a home, to put beautiful photos on the wall, to put 
a, a bouquet of flowers in the middle of the dining table. It's who we are. We create. Even in the first words of the Bible, it says God created. So we want our home to look pretty. We want to decorate it. We want our family to come home to a clean space. So the whole concept of it is just, it's made up. I mean, I don't know very many men who clean. And if they do, it's from a very masculine place, not more of a feminine instinctual place, if that makes sense. Uh, Something more that's intuitive from our own feminine design. And usually when men do clean, um, they're not very good at it. (laughs) So usually, and I can speak for myself, we will go right behind them and clean up their cleaning. (laughs) So we're still doing most of the work. And my father, personally, is very much a cleaner. He helps a lot in the kitchen. But for any cleaning advice or cleaning tips that I need, I would not go to him. I would go to my mom or my grandma first. (laughs) Anyway, so many more reasons, but I'll leave it at that for now. It's today. All crazy? Like, let's, let's break it down. You men, boys, want a traditional woman to do traditional women roles. Yet you can't even do traditional men roles. So she has to step in because that's what she has to do to help you with the lack that you earn. Right. And then she comes home. And your lacking behind has the audacity to be home before her or at the same time as her and go sit your ass down about you tired. So happened to everything else. If I have to 50-50 with your bills, you have to 50-50 with my chores. It's just that simple. It wasn't 50-50. The dishes wasn't 50 50-50 relationship benefits the man the most. Hear me out. Okay. Now, if you're deciding to go 50-50, I know in the comment section there's probably going to be a Pookie and Ray Ray or even a woman who will try to defend men and telling me that I'm wrong for saying that it only benefits women. But here is why. First of all, giving birth. The man cannot share that pain with you. There's no pain in the world that is worse than giving birth. I actually lost one of my aunts in childbirth, okay? So when you're giving birth, you are literally the nearest to death and life at the same time you are going through this portal of life and death basically at the same exact time and that's the only time you are nearest to death when giving birth the men yes gave the eggs but you also had to deal with you basically had to deal with everything else after that process happened the morning sickness the discomfort all everything that comes with being pregnant i had a friend of mine who basically her entire nine months of being pregnant with twins was spent in bed she could not do anything she had to literally go on fmla spent in bed all nine months okay so yes that pain cannot be shared with anyone except you and then on top of that god forbid you get with a man a black man okay i can only speak for black men because i'm in a black community a black man who was only raised by mothers I mean, by by um, female. So basically, his mom and then everybody else around him were girls, like all his sisters. You will not get help from this person because they were raised like a prince in the house. So basically, they didn't have to do anything like washing dishes, doing laundry, none of that, because the mom basically made the girls do all the work. So they basically were raised like slaves while the son get to sleep in and do this and do that and never had to touch a thing in his life. So therefore, you're not going to get any help from this person because they don't know how to do it, really. It's not really because they can't do it. It's not. It's because they don't know how to do it. So therefore, you're going to be stuck with all the chores, the dishes, the laundry, and all of that in the house you will be doing. But if you do just so happen to end up with a man who does cook, maybe he went to school to be a chef. He will cook, but then you have to wash the dishes. I don't mind that because then that is equal. That is 50-50. You cook, I wash the dishes. But if he does not know how to cook, you will have to be responsible for the cooking, for the cleaning, for dishes, everything. Everything, right? And on top of that, you will have to come home after you work 
a, maybe a 12 hour shift, an eight hour shift, whatever job you had to do to bring your 50% of the bill of the um, money for the bills. When you come home, this man is out lounging, playing video games. Now you got to read a bedtime story to your children. If your children are young, you got to read a bedtime story to them. Not only, not because they couldn't have done it, but they choose not to do it. A lot of time, men will choose not to do certain stuff just because they, they can just choose not to do it, right? Oh, I just got home from work. I'm tired, da 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 Meanwhile, you went to work, came home, cooked, cleaned, Da, 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 da. you're almost like the superhero in the, in the family now i have to say i'm just going to segue a little bit and just jump into something else you can actually trick a man into doing certain stuff for you so for example the grass is really tall and he re he's refusing to cut the grass right power of suggestion i say this all the time power of suggestion you could say okay well maybe you got someone to cut the grass for you because he refused to do it and you're tired of looking at the grass being so tall in front of you right so then he comes home the grass is done well you made power suggestion well the cute neighbor over over there came by and he saw how tall our grass was and he offered to cut the grass for me you know what i mean <laughs> He offered to cut the grass for me, and I was so thankful I didn't know how to thank him. <laughs> now he's going to get his head and try to be the macho man of the house and say, well, next time, uh, you should let me cut the grass. But the grass was tall. I didn't have to tell you that our grass was tall and need to be cut. You didn't do it, so the neighbor came and cut the grass. But then again, when you are with someone and you will have an agreement to go 50-50, if that's what you agree to, you shouldn't have to trick the man into doing the chores in the house that you agreed to do you know what i mean like cutting grass shouldn't be a woman's thing honestly me looking real cute like this i'm not going off to no cut to cut no grass imagine imagine a man tell me i had to do that no i will i will make your brother come to the house and cut the grass and show you that i can get a man to do it the job that you're not doing anyways uh, but yeah, you shouldn't have to trick your man into doing certain stuff. If we're going to be 50-50, which I know is a scam, you should be doing your part. You should be doing the job that you promised to do. But anyways, guys, this whole 50-50 only benefits the, the man in the relationship. It does not benefit the woman. And I'm going to continue to talk about this until it gets to people's head because wedding marriage is a scam. Men are hoping that you will be so desperate for a marriage so they can trick you into a marriage and then basically tell you that we can only do 50-50. If you really want this marriage, you're going to accept 50-50. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. And women who that doesn't face them, men does not like because they don't like a woman that they cannot manipulate manipulate into, you know, falling for that 50-50 thing. Trust me, guys. Anyways, I hope I'm like done talking about this, but every time I see another video about it, I'm like, oh my God, I, I'm, at least somebody thinks just like me. I'm not the only crazy one who thinks that this 50-50 thing was created most likely by a man for men to get what they want. <laughs> anyways guys uh i will see y'all in the comment section go ahead and leave your opinion because i know y'all have a lot of opinion about this so i'm ready i'm actually ready to answer all the comment section you know all the comments in the comment section i'll talk to you guys later bye these folks scamming me i'm about dumb as hell and these folks scamming me